What's up guys? So we all know I'm about to take on the biggest challenge of my life. I am aiming to run 250k over five consecutive days over in the beautiful country of Sri Lanka with Ultra X. The last seven weeks of training with my team has been absolutely spot on and it has led to this simulation week so I can get a little bit of a taster of what I might face over in Sri Lanka. I'm going to be running six days back to back which I have never done before and also trying to run the furthest distance I have ever done in my life which is I'm hoping for 100k. We are going across the board. I'm even going to be living off dehydrated meals for the very first time. I've heard some scary stories. Stories, so we're gonna see how we get on and finally the most exciting part that I'm going to be testing this week is the kit I have got my hands on the new premium gold standard Nike ADV range and this stuff is next level to say the very least they even have a test center called the LeBron James test center I think that kind of speaks for itself anyway where they take pools of athletes and then find out where they sweat the most so they can then take that feedback and create materials and zips and vents to make sure that they're sustaining their performance and regulating their temperature honestly mind blown Day one, let's get this run done. Very, very simple. It's a 2K warm up into three intervals, 15 minute followed by a two minute slow run, 10 minute, two minute, five minute, and then two minute run, and a 2K run down. Day one, done. Gone without a hitch. Now, time to try my first ever dehydrated meal. Well, it looks good. It does look like a lot of calories for me to be consuming right now, admittedly. 94 grams of carbohydrate, nine grams of fiber, 20 grams of protein. It's a pretty decent meal. It's gonna be very hot, but I'm gonna try it. I could eat that. That's not bad tasting at all. So I'd say that is a success. I'm now gonna also have this bad boy. I will be having on my longer run, I've got like a three hour fueled run on Saturday, which you will see in a few minutes, where I'm bringing in my which is apparently like the most important or crucial thing to have at the end of each day, especially when I'm out in Sri Lanka, is the re-energizing shake. It's the shake, the first thing that you want put in your hand when you finish each run. It's gonna be full of carbs, full of protein, just essentially restarting or kickstarting that recovery process. It's early. Been up since about five programming. Today we have a two hour run. So you have two choices. <laughs> in these situations you get up early and you get your stuff out of the way which is what I'm choosing to do right now because I'm not going to sacrifice my clients for this run and then you can run later with a little bit of a free mind or you can get up at your normal time try and fumble your way through the day and probably end up quite pissed off by lunchtime so warm up done yep it's gonna be hard today mentally Two intervals down, we're doing 15 minutes at 11.5 kph, 15 minutes at 12 kph, which is a 5 10, 5 minutes 10 split kilometer and a 5 minute split. One more round left. I'm feeling very tired and <laughs> very much looking forward to a break. Oh, yeah, day two, let's go. Now, meal number two to try. This is an 800 calorie number. It is beef and potato hot pot. It sounds fabulous. <laughs> and it is rolling with 50, 54 grams of fat, 55 grams of carbs, and 21 grams of protein. It looks a bit like fish food. But even that's got decent flavor. Very impressive, almost disappointing. So I thought this was going to be really like, oh my god, I'm going to struggle with this. It's absolutely fine. 
As you can see by the sheer amount of sweat that just came out of my red dry fit tee, the moisture wicking fabric is doing exactly as it says on the tin with the dry fit range. And I'm absolutely loving it. It's keeping my temperature regular. It's keeping my body nice and dry and the sweat away. There is actually three ranges of the ADV range. We've got the dry fit, which we've been using. We've also got the storm fit, which essentially keeps the weather off you, the wind and rain. Tomorrow, I'm really going to need the firmer fit range which is all about keeping you nice and warm because I've got a coast run around 30K and the, uh, the weather says cold, as in minus cold. Day three, it's the big test of the six days back to back. It's three hours um, fueled run. I'm going to the North Norfolk coast. I'm gonna run from Fornham to Wells on sea, or Wells next sea. The family are gonna come with me and they're gonna meet me at the end, which is really nice. So it's about 26, 27K today, I think. It's currently two minus two outside. Had a parcel delivery, what have I had? I'm actually gonna open it right now. Yes. Pure Sport Mind and Body, which I use on the daily. Been running out of this bad boy, Pure Sport Boost Drops. This, every single morning. It is, it's one of those things, it's just like boom, under the tongue, let it marinate for a minute or so and I'm ready for the day. Three scoops of this bad boy, which is 50 grams of carbs, and then a scoop of creatine, which again, it's just normally, I would take my creatine first thing in the morning, it's just an easy way to get it in. It's not really about performance in terms of aiding with this ultra for now, it's just purely about getting it in. Backpack is full to say the least. So I've got all my fuel in there, all of my hydration, everything that I need. Um, I'm now going to, I am actually gonna be changing my trainers today to the Gore-Tex. These are a phenomenal waterproof running trail shoe, full sole to make it a trail shoe, which I'm absolutely loving. And I will, <clears throat> I will be getting bits as I go as much as I can, but I am literally just gonna take the GoPro. So apologies if the, the quality changes somewhat, but we'll get some bits as we can. Change this to a thermal number, I think and then we will we'll get cracking. I'm not sure how much you can see or hear, but we're off. It's three degrees. I've got the thermal ADV jacket on. We've got vents in the sides, a full vent all the way down the back. This jacket is a dream. So let's get some kilometers down. Someone tells me it was a good idea to opt for the waterproof Gore-Tex. So we are, 11k in i'm just taking one of my fuel stops so basically a two minute walk bring the heart rate down a little bit um and i'm meant to be eating something but to be honest i have not stopped smiling for the last hours run just outside in the elements don't even feel cold anymore this jacket is doing its job at keeping me snug just right temperature I'm gonna have a quick slice of malt loaf and then we're gonna send the next 15. And just like that, I'm back with my girl. Hi. Hi. These two, well I say these two, Stephen's there and the wife were playing around in the woods. And when I got back, I got to Wells. This place is, does great coffees. And I had a quick coffee and the girls were still walking back. So I had a second coffee. <laughs> I did wake you up, I'm sorry, I had to put you in the car. But it was a great run. Um, I've just got changed into more dry fit layers because as soon as I stopped running, I realized just how cold it was outside. So I huddled around my coffee as much as I could. That was a great 26K route on the Norfolk Coastal Road. I really, really enjoyed that. It had absolutely every terrain. We had mud, we had boardwalks, we had roads, fields, plenty of trails, some woods, and the beach. So very good day in the office now i need to get home and get these legs in a very hot bath it's day four um it's sunday legs are sore hips are sore head is sore mentally like yesterday was phenomenal like pure adrenaline loved being outside loved exploring some of the coastal park it was great obviously 20 odd k legs are taking a bit of a beating um and mentally, you've also got to restore after runs like that. And I haven't really given my mind or body the time that it really needs to just take all that in. So, 
we're gonna get this done. I've got a 15 minute run up, I think, to a one hour, 15 minute steady state. I'm just gonna do it on the treadmill um, because we've got quite a lot on family wise today. We've already been out this morning um, and I also wanna spend some time with the family this afternoon. So this is gonna be a pure grunt it out, get it done and just <laughs> and get out of here as quick as I can. And then we've only got two more days left of this test week. So we're kicking off. So I've got my Nike seven inch uh, running shorts which I'm absolutely loving on and then the ADV which I'm loving as well but the long sleeve again it just hugs me a little bit more it fits in the right places it breathes quite nice regulates my temperature but anyway I'm just putting off the inevitable <laughs> let's get it done sorry I didn't really film that much today that was mentally so hard and physically even harder to be honest uh, I've been fighting a bit of a calf niggle on and off for the last couple of weeks to be honest but not really, hang on, getting pretty foggy but not really paying too much attention to it, managing it in the best way I can. Yesterday, long run, it started to kick off a little bit at me yesterday and today that got real about 60 minutes in, uh, still only about 4-5 out of 10 pain wise but enough to annoy you to the point where you have to start making minor adjustments for your stride and that kind of stuff. So. I'm just glad that one's over and there was no elevation of the pain um, or too much of a change to my technique because that's when it becomes a sensible thing to stop. So, all good, another one in the books. I am so hungry. That was, that was, that was hard, that's what I can say. One thing you don't see is you have to sweat carnage that now has to be cleaned up. The plan today was to run. It's easy today, 40 minute steady state, so it will be about 8K, but because you're here, I'm getting someone to film it for me. Look at this. Mate, I've never in my life has I ever said a 40 minute run is easy. Yeah, but this is in the grand scheme of things now, context. So yeah, yeah 40 minutes, obviously I do a lot of my running on the, tra on the treadmill or on the tarmac. This is literally 40 minutes, funnily enough, down the road from where we live. Woods, different terrain, got the Gore-Tex on, so I'm getting a little bit of a it's a little bit colder than Sri Lanka, I hope, but it'll be a nice little one. I don't see the light of day, looking up to higher ground, thinking that'll be your sweet escape. These days got a schedule to romance, they say that love is a slow dance. A short bike ride to the crib, use no hands, oh shit, it feel like I'm floating. But I'm falling with both eyes closed when I let the world spin. Testing the water, she got my nurse tense. What's going on, B? Huh? What's going on? Mate, I just have my mind absolutely blown. Why? I've finished the run. I'm putting on a minute. The snud. This, right? Put my fingers through. I'm like, oh, my hands are bloody freezing. What does this do? <laughs> oh, like Squidward. It, it doesn't look the most functional, but if my hands get cold, I'm happy. I'm well happy with that. <laughs> well happy. Best not need a pee when I'm running. Oh, last run, done. Now, all I need to do is top up my numbers for the week, find out what the grand total is, and then get in a very hot bath. What a week. To think eight weeks ago, I would maybe get two runs a week because my legs would hurt too much to do too much more at around 15 to 20K total. And I know that over this six days back to back mind, we're in the 90K mark, so. So it's rest day, I've had a little bit of time to evaluate the test week and final thoughts from me, some of the most fundamentally important things that I took away. First of all, I'm really happy with how the body held up throughout that six days. So the major things that I would suggest that have been the biggest contributing factors to that, first of all, the right program, right periodization, right level of intensity, well done Sam. Right nutrition, 100%, thank you Luke, well done for recovery and sustaining performance and a fundamental solid strength base. I've still got my foundational strength training going in around the runs at the moment. It's made a hell of a lot of difference. And also, as I've spoken about in my previous vlog, cadence, technique, there is so much technical work that goes into running. It's not just you just run and pick it up as you go. I've now got to work a hell of a lot on my arm swing because a really good friend of mine, Josh, Iron Man Josh, has picked up a little bit of a stiffness in my upper body and is like, you're just wasting a lot of energy. So I'm really hoping to work on that and get those elbows going a little bit more. But in terms of the kit, going into my Sri Lanka bag will be 
the ADV or the dry fit ADV t-shirts like this for the predominant amount of my daytime running. They've just been absolutely flawless this week. I'm also going to take the down jacket because I want to wear that in the evening. It's quite light. I don't think it's going to be too heavy. I can roll it up into a ball. It's going to be absolutely perfect. The only kit that you haven't seen is the Storm Fit. The Storm Fit ADV trousers. These are essentially the ones to keep the weather off you. They're waterproof, windproof. There's a jacket that goes with it as well. And I've just essentially been living in these. You'll see that my run in the woods was in these because it was wet underfoot. And you know what it's like when you're flicking your heels up, you don't want to get soaking wet. These are absolutely perfect for whatever conditions the, the world tends to throw at you. They will be going with me just in case there is a really wet day, which brings me on to these. The Gore-Tex, the full waterproof Nike Gore-Tex have been, they, they, they're amazing. They're a full sole, they've got a decent amount of tread. I wore them for my 26K coastal run and I ran through puddles without even thinking about it after the first tentative couple of steps and they were brilliant. So they will be coming with me. And also I've got the Pegasus, which I'm living in, treadmill, tarmac. And I've also been reassured that these will be all right for the dusty trails. Uh, unless there's anything like a little bit too deep. The ones that I didn't show you, the Kriegers. These have got a slightly deeper tread. These ones are more for dry, loose, loose conditions essentially underfoot. So more of like the sandy and soft mud, that kind of stuff. Used them on a couple of loose track runs at the moment. They've been absolutely great. So I'm gonna give them a little bit more time before I decide whether or not to take them because I don't want to overload too much. But final thoughts. I have to say, once again, very well done and a massive thank you to the guys over at Nike. Your free new ADV ranges are absolutely stunning. I will be living in the FirmaFit ADV this winter through my next block of training after Christmas. It's gonna get big. We've got a lot of miles to do. We're peaking at around 100 miles a week, which I'm really excited to head towards sadistically. Dry fit has been absolutely amazing. There's a couple of other base layers that I didn't show you as well, which you can get your hands on. Again, everything's in the description box below. And then the storm fit as well. Essentially what they've done is encompassed the most premium kit to get you to essentially get rid of any excuse you could ever put in your way. Any, any physical and elemental barrier that would stop you doing something, this kit's got you covered. So very well done. That was a big week. I'm very proud of myself. Now I'm gonna have a little bit of a break and I'll be back in the next one. Thank you all so much for your support as always. And if you've got any other comments and questions, just drop them below and I'll come back to you. Peace out.